Hello there. You are welcome. The stakes are getting higher, and this time the BRICS summit isn't closing without hinting on the most awaited and anticipated BRICS currency bank Bansi note with Putin as the chair. Yes, you heard all right. At the BRICS summit in Kazan, a symbolic banknote featuring the flags of member nations was unveiled, sparking discussions on creating alternatives to the U.S. dollar and fostering a more independent economic system. News of a new BRICS currency is no longer new as the countries converge this time in Russia. At the BRICS summit in Kazan, Russia, a symbolic BRICS banknote was unveiled, igniting discussions on reshaping global finance. The banknote, which features the flags of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, symbolizes the collective ambitions of these nations to explore alternatives to the U.S. dollar in cross-border transactions. This development highlights the growing effort within BRICS to establish a more independent economic system, one less reliant on Western financial structures. Putin's stance on dollarization. Not rejection? Russian President Vladimir Putin made it clear at the summit that the BRICS nations are not outright rejecting the U.S. dollar, but are preparing alternatives if access to it continues to be restricted. The dollar remains the most important tool in global finance, but using it as a political weapon undermines trust in the currency, Putin remarked. He stated that BRICS will not fight against the dollar, but will seek alternative methods if the situation necessitates it. If they block us, we'll find alternatives, he added, underscoring the pragmatic approach BRICS is adopting. Putin's remarks echo within the larger context of sanctions imposed on Russia, which have significantly limited its access to global financial systems dominated by the dollar. By exploring alternative currencies for trade, BRICS seeks to mitigate the risks posed by such political measures. According to Putin, using the dollar as a weapon will accelerate the transition to new financial structures, hinting that the BRICS bloc is moving toward a fairer economic system. Dilma Rousseff Weaponizing the dollar undermines global trust. Dilma Rousseff, chair of the New Development Bank, NDB, echoed Putin's concerns, stating that the dollar has been used as a political tool, which undermines its reliability in global finance. Also read, China Investment Custos Finance Minister endorses local currency settlement for cross-border trade. On Wednesday, October 23, 2024, the BRICS nations formally endorsed the settlement of cross-border payments in local currencies, marking a significant step toward reducing dependency on the, on the U.S. dollar. The Kazan Declaration, issued at the summit's conclusion, stated, We welcome the use of local currencies in financial transactions between BRICS countries and their trading partners. This initiative is seen as part of the broader BRICS cross-border payments initiative, which promotes voluntary, non-binding use of local currencies. At the summit in Kazan, Putin was shown a symbolic, BRICS banknote. The note represents the collective work being carried out within the BRICS framework. On the front face of the banknote, the flags of the BRICS founding countries, Russia, China, India, Brazil, and South, pic.twitter.com slash g1rqxtk, Sputnik, Sputnik Int, October 23rd, 2024. India played a leading role in advocating for local currency settlements. Prime Minister Narendra Modi emphasized that this shift would strengthen economic ties among BRICS nations and provide a more resilient framework for trade. India has already taken steps in this direction, allowing trade settlements in rupees with countries like Russia and the UAE, and it continues discussions with others like Indonesia. The path toward a BRICS currency, a symbolic start. While the symbolic BRICS banknote has raised expectations of a common currency, Officials remained cautious, focusing instead on integrating financial markets and establishing infrastructure for local currency settlements. Reports have suggested that the BRICS banknote could be called the unit, with backing possibly coming from gold and member currencies. However, these remain speculative, and no official announcements have been made regarding the launch of a BRICS currency. The leaders also tasked their finance ministers and central bank governors to explore further steps in local currencies and financial integration. One significant outcome from the summit was the plan to set up an independent cross-border settlement infrastructure, tentatively called BRICS Clear. This system aims to complement existing financial market mechanisms while promoting the use of local currencies 
for international trade. Challenges ahead and the vision for a fairer economic system. While the endorsement of local currencies marks a bold move, the road ahead for BRICS is not without challenges. Putin noted that the speed of transitioning to a fairer economic system depends on abandoning someone else's rules and platforms. The longer BRICS operates within the current Western-dominated financial structure, the longer the turbulence, according to Putin. The summit also saw BRICS collectively reject the European Union's carbon border adjustment mechanism, calling it a protectionist measure under the guise of environmental concerns. This stance highlights the bloc's shared goal of resisting what they view as Western economic dominance while promoting a more equitable global financial system. While the symbolic BRICS banknote and discussions of a common currency may signal a desire for change, the immediate focus remains on enhancing local currency settlements and building the necessary financial infrastructure. As the BRICS nations work toward these goals, they continue to challenge the status quo of global finance, seeking alternatives to dollar hegemony without directly opposing it. India took center stage at the summit, advocating for local currency settlements among BRICS nations. The unveiling of the BRICS currency bill, featuring the Taj Mahal, added controversy as the bloc explores challenging the US dollar's global financial power. Against that backdrop, the Kazan summit has great symbolic and practical importance for the Putin regime. Angela Stent, director of the Center for Eurasian, Russian and East European Studies at Georgetown University, said in comments to the Brookings Institute, the summit will demonstrate that far from being isolated, Russia has important partners like India, China and other major emerging powers. The expanded BRICS group now represents about 45% of the world's population and 25% of global gross domestic product. Why is the summit significant for Putin? Since Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the country and its leader have grown isolated. A month after the start of the invasion, Canada, the European Union, Japan, New Zealand, Taiwan, the United Kingdom and the US unveiled a slew of sanctions on Russian banks, oil refineries and military exports. There have been more sanctions on Russia and its allies since. The ICC arrest warrant against Putin also means he can't countries that are signatories to the Rome Statute, a UN treaty that established the court without risking arrest. In 2023, he skipped the BRICS summit in South Africa, which is a party to the treaty, amid pressure on Pretoria to detain the Russian leader if he were to attend. Western leaders are also largely unwilling to join Putin in any multilateral setting. Putin skipped the G20 summit in India last year, even though New Delhi is not a party to the Rome Statute. Against that backdrop, the Kazan summit has great symbolic and practical importance for the Putin regime. Angela Stent, director of the Center for Eurasian, Russian and East European Studies at Georgetown University, said in comments to the Brookings Institute. The summit will demonstrate that, far from being isolated, Russia has important partners like India, China, and other major emerging powers. The expanded BRICS group now represents about 45% of the world's population and 25% of global gross domestic product. Thanks for stopping and stay tuned for more and related updates from our channel. Goodbye for the time being.